So what should we watch? I don't know. It's been so long since I had any free time to watch anything. Well, Dukeflix has some suggestions. Maybe one of those could be good. I have so much more on my computer than just words. For example, look at all of these images. Surely they're not just numbers. Actually, Robert, if we were to zoom in on one of these images, we would see that it's made of many tiny little dots called pixels. But why does public art really have to happen here? Why can't public art happen here? Or here? Or in a very tight spot like this one? To start the process, we put the TEM grid onto the Vitrobot tweezers. Then, we load the tweezers into the Vitrobot. Next, using a pipette, we load the liquid sample onto the grid. Is item A the same percentage, a larger percentage, or a smaller percentage of the total than item C in this graph? Now try again. Societies and cultures and nations that are powerful and imperial will often in fact be able to bring their games to other places around the world where they sometimes take root. Let's imagine you have an olefin. And here I'm just going to draw a simple one. We have this methyl group coming out towards us and another methyl group going back into the board. After data are collected, pairs of scores and actual conditions are placed in rank order from highest score to lowest score. This is the really fun part of the movie. That moment where you get to turn all of the ideas in the core lectures and your guest presentations into your own work. Today I'm here on the boards of Teaching Hospital in Carla Gutierrez. Just a few days ago I was asked to see a patient here who was um, admitted with about three weeks of fever. The mountain is up there, Kilimanjaro, about 6,000 meters. So this is ideal because you need water that is almost stationary. We'll let you do this one. Work through the algorithm for the small image we show here and see if you get the correct answer. I spend a lot of time thinking about how software systems influence human systems. I think the thing that excites me the most about computer science is problem solving. I'm really happy to be teaching this course because I see this as a chance to bring bioelectricity out into a much wider world. With your help, we will do it. Let's get started.